Hello everybody, I'm Toya. I'm Robert. And this is our Upbeat Moments. Mine is Andrew Sheps, the world famous record producer and engineer, walked into our kitchen. Um, we'd had lunch with him and he said, Oh, this is the famous kitchen. Now, if you don't know who Andrew Sheps is, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Adele 21, Green Day, Metallica, Beyonce, Johnny Cash. I mean, the list is endless. Black Sabbath returned to the charts in 2013. Oh my God. And he was so lovely. And what I loved is I met him at the restaurant. You were already there. So I sat down, we had lunch, and we were with um, Tony Kelsey and Matthew from um, Saving, Grace, Saving Grace, Robert Plant's band. So I came ahead here to put the kettle on to make coffee for everyone, and I didn't realise that um, Andrew Sheps is about six foot six, and he had to, had to bend down to come through the kitchen door. It was fabulous. That, that's my upbeat moment. Well, I was in awe of this man, yes. may I say, in awe. And he was scared of meeting you. What can I possibly say, dear? He said at lunch, he said he had to ask his wife how to talk to you because he was actually a little bit scared of you. Well, it, it's true. It's well known I'm a brute. So there, we'll move on from there, dear. Now, my upbeat moment this week. Mr. Darlow, Master Darlow, forwarded his mastered final mix of Roses in Chains. This is our single coming out on the 21st of June. And we're going to start featuring it at the Isle of Wight and Glastonbury in the set. I was excited. I was excited now. Also. Well, you, you were so excited, Bug, that you played it in your office. You played it in our snug. You were playing it in the bedroom. I have never known or heard Robert play something so constantly and consistently. It's true, I was excited. And your playing on it is beautiful. Well, you're generous, little Abby. Thank I'll you. I'll shut up now. All right, now, another upbeat moment of the week is my reading. Now, we are super, super busy, but I insist that I maintain my reading. And this by Richard Heath, Sacred Geometry in Ancient Goddess Cultures. Uh, I've been interested in the sacred geometry going back 50, 50 years and more. And Richard Heath is my exemplar of, of sacred geometry. I have everything he's written. This is magisterial, his book simply Sacred Geometry before this. I feel like I am being invited into the world of someone whose knowledge of this subject is profound and they are allowing me to take part in the conversation with them. So thank you, Mr. Heath. Can I bring up an insight you had from reading this, that you believe the stars and the mapping of the stars shows us where our soul should travel? Or is that, that just too complex? That's a little too complex. Okay, yeah. all right. Because it was like a big awakening for you. Yes, it was very inspiring. You, you have this... Go on, the, try. All right, the megalithic culture, which we know in Europe, it, it goes back about 7,000 years. However, this book takes it back to Turkey 12,000 years ago. This is astonishing. And the question I ask myself is, all right, you have the simplistic sense of, here you have the stars in the sky. If you're traveling, uh, if you have a maritime culture, then if you know your way around the star map, you can find your way around. Very simple. However, why go to the lengths of finding points of intelligence way out there to a remarkable degree where the measures you are using are exact patterns of places of intelligence way out there in the cosmos that aren't of any direct use on you on a practical level of finding your way around. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not going to say what came to mind I suggest our friends out there might give it thought. 
what is the point of being able to establish the locations of intelligence light years away from where we are? So this book is, is the book. So if you say, what is my upbeat moment? It is that this Mr. Heath has invited me to sit down and all our chums are there to sit down and engage in the notion of the interconnectedness of all things. I love that. Uh, do you think I could read it? Um, in terms of the overall ideas, yes. Okay. The good. overall ideas move through the book, don't get stuck up. Just engage with the overall point of view. <sighs> good. Well, I'm going to give it a go. Now, I need to ask you a big question. How have you lost your voice this week? Because yesterday I was cheering and shouting and having an enormous amount of fun as a guest of Tool in Birmingham on Thursday night. Boy, was I rocking and raving. And I have come back with stuff for my little wife and me. Tool stuff. And you took your guitar so Adam could have a look at it. Yes, Adam wanted to have a look at the wiring on my main Fernandez guitar. So I took that in now. Kevin De Vogel, Adam Jones's guitar technician, used to have a job. Your, he was your guitar he tech. Was, he was my guitar tech in King Crimson, and he has now moved on to the number one guitar tech job in the world, in and, my opinion. And you said the light show was the best you've ever seen. This, this, purely on a technical level, this took lights and presentation to a new level, but it is infused with Adam Jones' particular visual brilliance. It is astonishing. And I, I went with David Singleton from DGM, my business partner, and we sat down and from the beginning, from the first Danny Carey coming in, this was tool world. Yeah. It was not a question of analyzing the music or the songs or the stage or Maynard's presentation or Justin's bass. It was completely one. There we were from the beginning in Tool World and rocking and shouting and cheering. And today wow. my voice is a little gone. Well, I last saw them. I mean, this is a long time ago. I think it was 2001. They were playing Donington. We were standing next to Jack Osborne um, at the side of the stage. Yes. So it was daylight. It was really, really great. But I, I couldn't go yesterday. I was just... Too busy rehearsing. Well, I was asked, where is Toya? Aww. And I said, well, look, Toya was planning, first of all, to come, but she has been super, super It's busy. crazy. I mean, I cannot tell you, May has been absolutely crazy. It's life-changing. It's fabulous. So we will see you tomorrow for a vintage Sunday lunch. Tool, I would like to say thank you very much for taking such good care of my husband. I have never known him come back without a voice from a gig. So he obviously had great fun. Everybody, lots of love from me, Toya. And from me, Robert. And our new single, Roses in Chains, there will be links as to where to get it digitally out on the 21st of June. Let's just play out with a little snippet of Roses in Chains. Lots of love. Time. Thank you. You're never out of my mind We hurt in a beautiful way Life would be perfect If we could predict it I love you to death We are like roses Roses in chains Never forget